Mosul, Iraq, AFP, fed up with waiting for assistance from the Iraqi authorities to materialize, traders at the ravaged Bab al Saray market in Mosul's old city are rebuilding their shattered businesses themselves. After months of silence, the sound of construction work and returning commerce is finally filling the historic district devastated by the months-long battle to force out the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, ISIS, group. I was the first to open my shop some two months back after cleaning it up with the help of other traders, Ironmonger Zanoun Yunz Rajab, 44, told AFP. The father of five and neighboring stall holders had to each fork out 25,000 dinars, S$27, just to clear the rubble blocking their street. In the neighboring alleys, where grocers and carpenters are looking to start plying their trades again, it is the same story. Still dangerous the market, part of which dates back over 1,300 years to the time of the Umayyad Caliphate, bears the scars of the fierce fighting that saw ISIS militants finally kicked out of Iraq's second city in July. Shop fronts are blasted, ceilings have caved in, wooden beams are broken, stocks have been plundered. Under the rubble lie rotting corpses of militants killed in street-to-street -street clashes or by airstrikes from a US-led coalition. There is not much left intact in what was once one of Mosul's busiest neighborhoods. Gateways leading into the market have been pulverized and accessing some areas remains dangerous because of the threat of unexploded munitions or ISIS booby traps, despite assurances by security officials. But this has not put off some traders from trying to bring the district back to life. Builders are busy fixing roofs or mending the shattered pavements. We did not wait for the city authorities because they are very slow and it would surely take months longer, said spice seller Abu Ahmed. No reconstruction plan. Mayor Zuhair Alaraji insists that local officials are doing all they can with the little we have at our disposal. Most equipment was stolen or destroyed, electricity and water are still out in parts of town and many roads remain impassable. He instead points the finger of blame further up the chain to the authorities in Baghdad. Up until now we have only been relying on ourselves as the central government still has no reconstruction plan for Mosul, he said. That means that it is down to the market traders to try to return some of the missing life. Abu Nabil, 65, could not wait any longer as time slipped by after the official announcement of Mosul's liberation. His carpet stall is the oldest in the market and has been passed down from father to son for generations in his family. I cannot imagine my life without my work and my shop, so today I am cleaning it up and starting to bring back everything I saved before the fighting, he said. Our shop is our soul, we cannot live without it in peace.